Somebody ready to weld this guy up. I'm kind of anxious to give it a test roll down a hill. I'm going to start off slowly and get progressively steeper. We'll have the engine on the back, kind of simulating what it's going to be in a real life situation, but not powered. So if the suspension doesn't quite work the way I want it to, I can go to plan B, which is probably the A-arm suspension. Well, I got the frame all welded up. Uh, I did some reinforcement on my uh, front swing arm. Welded two plates on the front here and here, right at the weakest points of the shock. And uh, also added some supports on both sides of the legs here. But what that did, <laughs> uh, all the heat kind of made this whole beam torque this way, and then the heat over here made it torque this way. And in other words, spread these guys way out. Now I'm off about a half inch or three quarters of an inch. I'm just going to cut right here, bring it together, weld it, maybe put a little plate here to bring those together. Sucks. You just got to remember about these things. Heat shrinks. Cold expands. Heat shrinks. Cold expands. I should know that. Jeez. Well, I made the cut. Now they fit. So I got to weld the puppy up. Turn on the gas. Ah! Turn it again. Now it bent the other way. God damn it. Jim. Well, that was embarrassing, but I did manage to get it all lined up. I welded this little plate up here, and the heat made it contract, or expand, or retract, or whatever. Anyway, it's working now. Realistically, it's only going to go up about that far, as far as the shock, front shock limit. A little change on the caster as it goes into a full-blown, not too bad. there. So I made it kind of hard for the motor to get in and out of the frame. It's having to come from underneath and uh, yeah, it's just uh, not the best, but it works. Well, once the seatbelt was in place, I started moving around this thing, and I realized that I had a problem. Um, Sega hit by the side. Look where my neck goes. <laughs> Boom! That snapped my neck right in half. So to prevent this from happening, I noticed that race car drivers uh, move their support bars for the roll bar right up against their helmet. I got my bar here. A few extra pounds, but it does worry me not to have any side protection. So this is a motorcycle steering dampener or steering stabilizer. So I spent a day tightening all the nuts and bolts and making sure everything was safe. And it was finally time for my first test run. Luckily, I could just go right out my driveway. <laughs> it's got a nice, kind of like a soapbox derby starting hill with a few lumps and bumps in the road. Here I am just trying out the steering, and I'm surprised how tight of the steering it is. 
Big shout out to my neighbor Bruce, he was the one who took these shots and also was helping me tow the vehicle back up to my house. pretty close but not quite so I am bringing this in a little bit hey Bruce yeah so it's flying down the hill huh oh yeah you're doing great <laughs> so did you check your toe in toe out yeah yeah I got that in What's that look like? Oh, that's close. I'm gonna try that. This is not that fun. This is a ultimate gravity racer right now, but I am anxious to get the motor in here and give it a real whirl. I think the geometry on the steering, Bob Stewart, good friend of mine, engineer, kind of did this on his tricycle. He had real high bars real long travel and it steers like a Cadillac but this way with my short wheelbase you know I'm gonna make sure that there's no twitchies going down the freeway so we're gonna go on another run here we go I'm hitting a big bump here look at that Nothing. Just, I like it. Turns on a dime. I don't seem to have any problems so far of tipping. I mean, I'm hitting it pretty hard, even for a regular car, and it's not bad. <laughs> Boys and girls, I think I'm going to stick with this suspension. Now I'm going to work on putting the motor on. You betcha. Stay tuned.